Hi guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here with lesson number 11 on learning how to use the Raspberry Pi. If you've been with us through these lessons, you've learned quite a bit about getting your Pi up and running, learning how to operate the Pi based on Linux and the Linux command line. Now I've gotten some questions. Uh, some of you have been having a little trouble with your keyboard as far as maybe the special characters that are above the numbers, sort of like Shift 4, Shift 5. Some of those things are not behaving behaving as expected. What it is, is is the Raspberry Pi does not come when you boot it up uh, with a standard operating system configured for <coughs> the standard United States keyboard. It's probably, if you're in the UK, it's probably working properly. Let me show you really quickly the easiest way to make the keyboard work if you're in the United States. Uh, there's a way you can do it with Raspi config and you can go in there and hunt down and try to find the keyboard and then try to find your keyboard. I found that very clumsy. This is what I found that will work for most keyboards in the United States. You do a su let me get my window alive here. You do a sudo nano. You know nano. We're going to be uh, editing a file, so sudo nano. The file we're going to edit is etc, and then slash default, and then slash keyboard. If I did this right, yeah. Okay, that brings up your keyboard file. Come down. And what I have found is if you've just installed the standard operating uh, system, edit this file, come down, and if you look at XKB layout, yours is going to say GS or GN or something like that, make it lowercase us. Okay, lowercase ux, then write out by doing control O, then do control X, I mean enter, and then control X, so you do control O, enter, control X, you get out. And now, let's look at those special characters. If I come up here and try to do the squiggly, I get the squiggly. I get the exclamation. I get the, all these things like I would expect on a standard U.S. keyboard. Okay, that's just the thing. If you're not in the U.S., you've got something more complicated, you go in and you do a raspy config, and you kind of go down to the keyboards, and you try to find yours on there. But if you want a quick and easy way to do it, this is the way to do it. Paul McWhorter, TopTechBoy.com. Think about giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. Think about sharing this video with others. We'll be back shortly with lesson number 12.